Welcome everyone to All About AI Tech. Today, we have an exciting episode lined up as we explore the whirlwind of activities in the AI coding assistant space. You won't believe how one startup, AnySphere, has gone from $400 million to an astonishing $2.5 billion valuation in just a few months. How did this happen? Let's dive right in. Now, it's no secret that there are plenty of AI-powered coding assistants out there. We're talking about names like GitHub Copilot, Cursor, and many others. But why has Cursor gained such immense popularity? Imagine this. Their revenue shot up from $4 million annually to about $4 million PR month just last month. That's some rapid growth. AnySphere, the brains behind Cursor, has captured the attention of top-tier VCs. They started receiving unsolicited offers and guess what? Those offers valued AnySphere at a jaw-dropping $2.5 billion. Just four months ago, this company was only valued at $400 million. Can you believe this kind of expansion? The interest in AnySphere has exploded, with investment firms like Benchmark and Index piling in. They've gone from a valuation of $1.5 billion last week to $2.5 billion in no time at all. Investors are eager to jump into the ring, driven by the rapid adoption of Cursor's capabilities. But who exactly is behind this meteoric rise? AnySphere was co-founded in 2022 by four students from MIT, Michael Truel, Swala Asif, Arvid Lundmark, and Amon Sanger. They took a leap of faith and now they're at the forefront of a revolution in coding assistance. Talk about dreams coming true. Now, let's shift gears a bit. What does the rise of AI coding assistance mean for startups? Some VCs predict that in the near future, fewer human engineers might be needed as companies will rely heavily on AI tools. Think about it. If AI can generate code from natural language, what does that mean for the workforce? Experts are already seeing these AI coding assistants being utilized during coding interviews. Imagine a world where startups could manage a team of AI assistants instead of hiring countless human coders. Now, that's a compelling vision for the future, but is it realistic for young companies? VCs like Corinne Riley suggest sticking with human engineers in the early stages of a startup. Sure, you want to save cash, but if you're making major engineering trade-offs too soon, it could prove detrimental. But on the flip side, Elizabethine argues that AI tools can help startups iterate faster and learn quicker. The truth is, the earlier we embrace these AI tools, the better equipped we'll be to quickly test our ideas. Just imagine being able to throw together a product in a fraction of the time it used to take. That's the power of AI in action. As we look towards 2024, it's fascinating to think about how startups will launch with AI development processes. Will we witness the dawn of the first AI agent workforce? It's a thought that's both exciting and a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? But let's also touch on Devin, touted as the world's first AI software engineer. Released by Cognition Labs, it promised to create and manage code with natural language. So, what happened? Why hasn't it taken off like Cursor? Here's the catch. Devin has been pretty quiet since its initial buzz. Unlike tools like Cursor that allow users immediate access, Devin requires you to submit a request to use it. This has become a huge barrier, making it hard to compete in a bustling market. Imagine being excited to try out a brand new tool, only to find that it's not even available to you. Developers have enough challenges to deal with. They don't need another closed-door gadget. Cursor, on the other hand, offers a free preview and allows users to dive into its full capabilities without any initial commitments. That level of accessibility has certainly contributed to its rapid rise in popularity. Let's be real, the bar is getting higher every day in the AI coding space. Competitors like GitHub Copilot are continuously updating with new features, making it tougher for newcomers to break through. As the competition heats up, all these tools need to keep innovating or risk being left behind. In the words of Cursor co-founder Michael Truel, if you stop innovating, you will lose. Simple as that. Despite the challenges, the excitement surrounding AI coding tools is palpable. Innovators like Scott Wu, the genius behind Cognition AI, are just getting started. There's still hope for Devin if it can come out swinging with something outstanding. As we wrap up this deep dive into the AI coding world, remember that innovation takes time, effort, and resilience. Each of these tools has the potential to evolve and reshape how we code and develop software, and we, as users, hold the key to their success. I've really been focusing on improving the quality of this channel to provide you with the best content possible. I'm eager to build a supportive community where we can share ideas and feedback. Your thoughts are truly invaluable, so please feel free to drop your comments. I genuinely appreciate each of you for being on this journey with me. Your engagement helps me grow and evolve, and I'm committed to making this a space where we can all learn and explore together. So, if you have any suggestions on how to improve, please don't be shy. That wraps up our exploration of the dynamic world of AI coding tools and the race they're in. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on all things AI tech. Until next time, keep innovating and stay curious.